Hey, what's up, guys? It's Road Roger with another video. Today, it's an other versus video. So, old school Runescape against RS3. I last time did Falador. Um, yeah, Falador, not that much changed overall. But today, I'm actually gonna do a big, big change. Traveling and Butter Up. I'm gonna do both in one video because. Yeah, why not? Anyways, let's get started with opening the gate. So here we got the Dark Wizard Tower. The Dark Wizards. Well, I can kill one, cause why not? As you can see on the map, in the beginning you get a little bit this before you enter the city. You will see that it's way different between versions. So down here, I'm gonna climb down just to show you guys. You got the Traveling Dungeon, the Blue Dragons, Bay Blue Dragons, Black Demons, Bony Spiders, Skeletons. Also, need to walk a bit. Not to complete to the rig ritual. Anyways, we're gonna enter traveling now. To be honest, I don't think for me personally, traveling on old school was never really a place I did much. Maybe people train on these routes, like, I mean, they not do anything just then attack you with their fists oh yeah and that but yeah I don't know it's not it, I think it's more like a stun than anything else to be honest or limbo dude you got also these uh, weapon shop I mean yeah and I think you actually got no it's not in that spot box then you here got the witch garden from the witch house quest. This one. That gives a lot of constant hit points XP actually. I want to say constitution, but that's not right. Here the Duduric Ritual quest sign. You can also you guys pray at the out of Gutix. Nice since my prayer points were uh, zero, but eh. So we walk farther north, and here we got the warrior's goat. Why you can hunt for the defenders. And now we're entering the next city, Butterhop. I'm gonna be honest, I actually kinda like Better Up. We could hit level 3 Slayer Master, Turio, General Store. I mean, another quest. I mean, it's not really like somewhere you can do a lot, I think, but it's nice. I like it. Let's, let's just say it like that. Tito Weaponsmith. I think it's that guy that plays a role in that plateau. Yes, it is. It's Dunstan. Oh, I don't know. He didn't play the quest, I think. He did. Oh no, wait. That's all the quest. Crazy. Anyways, and also about quests. We're not talking about quests. Because the auto. That's what I've been doing almost the entire video. Here we've got the bar. And that plateau quest city. I don't know the reason I think that I talk about quests. Oh, this wasn't the warriors code, by the way. This is the warriors code. I have no clue what this is. But 
I think the reason I talk right now a lot about quests is because I think for me personally the only reasons I came here so far were for quests. Like I did that plateau so I never really had other reasons to come here basically. Now so if we enter this castle and climb down and climb down again enter the games but I think I speak for both versions for old school and RS3 if I say that it is still there but it's pretty much that content I think it's fair to say I think the games rooms never really get used that much anymore now we get the real warrior's goods. Earlier I was lying about it. I don't think I'm allowed to enter. I actually am. So let's run quickly to this. I didn't do anything in the warrior's goods yet. On old school. I think my access to it is just unlocked. The strength cape guy. Yeah, you got a lot of minigames you can earn points with. And train it, but it's not the best XP I think. Also, I think the most uh, important factor here is the one more upstairs, right bit, uh, next to her, but you need tokens for that. To kill the Cyclops for defenders. He was probably gonna hunt in for those as well. Although I could use maybe defender, I think it might be better than the shield, but. Well, yeah, might. It will be better. I mean, you heard people talking about using a dragon defender. You don't hear many people talking about a Toxcat's XL shield. But that might be because of the name of the shield. <laughs> so, this is very short, but the thing is, why I talked a lot about the quest and a bit about the warrior's good only. It doesn't really feel like for me and this guy, Zaba, with this grunt. It doesn't really feel like for me personally that Butterop and Travely had that much to offer here. Expect for the Warriors Goat. A few quests. But I don't think there is any. The reason why you should come here. Maybe, yeah, if you need to walk all the way to go to us from here, but I mean, if you did go on the quest, you can basically teleport to there with at least I think there is go to us teleport. I think I'm mistaken. Do you go through? I'm teleport though, so that's pretty much. Very close as well. And we got the intensive where you can buy climbing boots. That's pretty much it. That's Butter Hop and Travely. Now we're actually gonna switch games, so we will be, be right back. We will also start from Travely again. Yes. Now switch the view. Let's go. So we are here at the beginning. You already can see there is no gate to begin with. 
that's because Travely and Butthop are free to play. We still got the Dark Wizard Tower at the entry, but and this mine they replaced a little bit. But that's really pretty much it. Also, quest of three. But then we already get to the witch house. This quest is basically not that important as well. I mean, you can already see it. But this again is Travely Dungeon. Oh wow, I actually muted my desktop audio for some. I think that was instead of my mic, but it doesn't matter. So, blue dragons again, black demons again. So, we can go two ways. Uh, let's go this way first. So, I have to say, um, basically, uh, Travely and Butthorp. I'm gonna show it on the map as well. They, you basically walk into both of them. Oh, I was wa I was wrong. It was this was the hero's goat. That's the warrior's goat. But yeah, you can already see it's a big difference. Like they made kind of a tutorial out of Butterhop and Traveler for new players on our three. I also probably forget to show this on old school but I'm still gonna show it now now I'm not talking really about this but I'm talking about the rogues then yeah I'm not gonna do flash powder factory I think it's not even on old school but I anyways Here we got the house portal. I think I missed it on old school, but it is there as well. Uh, yeah, I can, I, I can just say that it it's hard to like say, hey, here's that, here's that. I mean, you can see it basically what is that, but normally I say it, but then it's like a comparison with old school, but it's so different. Like, can you really compare it? Maybe the only thing is that the hero goat, the only thing that's the same is that the hero's goat is still around the end and that the dark wizard tower is at the beginning. And you can actually see I touched this. But what you also can see is this area, like on old school you saw people using it, here you don't see anyone using it. Like, for example, the Warriors Goat, I was talking about it on old school. That I wasn't sure if I say people used it a lot, but. Okay, someone is actually hunting for defenders right here. Someone actually is, so. But that's the only the only thing that still has to get done here. I mean, this makes no sense to do on R3. I only got the phone point so I could do hunt for defenders some time ago. I think it's almost a year ago I did that. Also you can see the castle, I mean this is supposed to be like it. But the thing is, as yeah, the games we can really see it, the thing is, the dead plateau cast, they change it entirely. You got also the options to play with people on this world or with everyone, so all worlds. I think it basically said no games found. But you can see no one is here again. Oh yeah, I'm playing Go Ball, I think I yeah the bartender will be here today. It's crazy. 
that content in both games. I mean, I can't remember it being used. I mean, I love it when it was back in 2008 or 6, 2006, 2008. Was it even in 2006 released yet? Also, here you got the training camp, but uh, get it to Goose, level 3 one. But before we go and walk back, we're gonna walk up a bit. So here we got a deal in monthly tin that you can fight throws. But actually, to get any further, you need to go to the cave. Oh yeah, at least to get on the mountains. Oh no, wait, you can't. So you need to get to this cave. I mightly might be mistaken. I am. Actually, it's because oh level one throws, and I never really use this place. Oh no. You can go there. Now you now I do. But the only way to get past the mountains or get up the mountains is like this and then enter here and walk to this mm, agility dinny uh, he's severed again but I not really wanted to show that as you can see you now could hear the rocks though won't it sort of still here but it's really like not that dangerous anymore I, I feel like it might be because of my level as you can see here you can't go anymore it just just stopped you can climb over it and that's basically it oh yeah and they were pl they replaced for f they replaced Freda and for some reason they replaced her instead of who was here? You can see. Can I buy some climbing boots? They are the way different character for some reason that I have no clue why that was even needed. So we have one side left to show. Also, let me know which side, which version you like more. RS3 or old school. I think this time I have to go with old school. I don't really like what they did with Butterop and Traveli. They just made a tutorial of it. I mean, Tutorial Island might be a bit outdated right now, but just change that a little bit, and but not this entire place. It just doesn't feel right to me. Here is the Duderic Rituals site again. Another cave. I actually skipped the Slayer Master here, but we already passed her. Oh no, uh, I'm actually lying. And here the summoning quest where you started. They even changed that as well, to be honest. Um. Yeah, we actually passed her. Ah, I was lying. But we can teleport to that, so that's not too much of a deal because I pretty much showed everything already. So yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments what version you like more. Yeah, like I said, I prefer old school a bit more because it just feels more like it. How it should be. Here's the slay master, by the way. Anyways, I thank everyone a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a li like down there in the comments. I appreciate it if you do that. As always, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please subscribe. It's also really appreciate it. And as always, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.